B'shem Hashem Na'asem Na'atziach. Thank you everybody for watching. This week's Parsha is Vatchanan, which is a treasure trove of such beautiful, beautiful fundamental lessons. It has the Ten Commandments for the second time and the Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Yechad, the most fundamental and priceless and glorious of all Jewish prayers. But today I wanted to talk mostly about the second of the Ten Commandments. The first commandment God gives us face to face at Mount Sinai. We heard His voice. We experienced His being. Is that we should know there's an omnipresent God. He knows everything. He feels everything. He feels all our pain and suffering. He is the God that took us out of Egypt. The second commandment of the Ten Commandments is, I am God that we should not have any other gods. No idol worship. Maimonides says something unbelievable. He says that the goal of the entire Torah, which has 613 commandments, is to take us away from idol worship. Now Maimonides clarifies this in the More Nevuchim, and I heard this from the Rosh Hashiva Zatzal, Rav Ruderman, Rav Weinberg, that was the biggest expert on the Rambam that I knew on the face of the earth. The Rosh Hashiva Zatzal said that the Rambam asks a fundamental question. On one hand, the entire Torah's goal is to take us away, away from idol worship. But the Rambam, which was the greatest of all philosophers, says, how is that possible? Most of the women, world is not pagan anymore, Right? If you look in your pocket, most people do not have idols that they bound down to. So how in this modern and contemporary world does it mean that the goal of the entire Torah is to take us away from idol worship? And this is such a golden and platinum as really a sapphire ruby of an idea. It says, the Rambam explains in Meore Nebuchim, the more practical and real meaning of idol worship is that any time we are willing To sacrifice our godly values, our character, our ethics, our morals, our integrity, and just forget about the Torah, stomp on it, God forbid, forsake, God forbid, the Torah, God and its values, that is idol worship. And unfortunately, you know, there are some people out there, their ego is their idol. They're willing to lie, cheat, crush people that don't respect them, abuse people that don't listen to them, get angry and annihilate people because they believe that they are God's gift to the world and everything needs to revolve around them. Those people... The modern idol is recorded and located in their heart and mind. They don't realize that the center of the universe is God. And we must, we are created to make Him happy. For some people, the Rosh Hashiva Zatzal said their stomach is their idol, is their pagan God. Because they're willing to eat a cheeseburger. And I'm not talking with the vegan fake cheese. They're willing to eat anything and everything even though they know better just because it tastes good and it's instant gratification. Some people are willing, willing to sell everything, all their values, their ethics, their integrity for money. They'll sue people for no good reason and they'll lie and cheat and embezzle and misrepresent for money. 
In God we trust is not their motto. In money we trust. Their money is their God. And this is what the Rambam means. The goal of the entire Torah is to take us away from idol worship. Which idols? When we idolize different values that are anti-God and we worship them and willing to do anything for them, sacrifice our children, our integrity, our morals, that is modern, modern idol worship, which in today's world is more than ever is pertinent and is nogeya and it's worthwhile for us to understand that so we have to ask ourselves am I engaged in modern idol worship or if I sin it's because I made a mistake okay nobody's perfect but once you idolize something that God doesn't want you to do and you're willing to sacrifice anything and everything for that May God save us. And that's why the Shema Israel says, Shema Israel, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad. The Rambam says, when we say Echad, we have to have the most important intention we have to realize is the only thing that really exists is God. En od mi All of the money and power and kings and federal reserve, those are all just a figment of our imagination. They're an illumination. The only thing that really exists that is the spirit and the neshama of the world is God. And our mission, we have to sacrifice for His love everything and anything we own. Our own being we have to sacrifice over this idea of the one and only and unique God that we have to love with our, our heart. May Hashem help us to realize what the Rambam is saying. Yes, the goal of the entire Torah is to take us away from these foreign, poisonous, satanic values. We should worship God, not our own desires. And in that way, the Ten Commandments and the Shema Yisrael become overwhelmingly true and powerful. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful Shabbat Nachamu. Thank you.